Welcome back to the channel to a late night stream of PLO 20. My name is Nut Raisin. We are playing more PLO 20 mostly, I think. Possibly some short stacking. And this day has been going pretty well. Um, on Run at Once, the last stream, we finished up five binds of profit, and I've been play watching the Jane Ender stream, who's still on, so you know, if you would rather watch somebody playing for. 10 times the stake, then by all means head over to Jane Anders' channel. Because that's where I've been all the time, so you know, I felt it's my duty to let you know that he's on. In any case, as uh, while he was streaming... Hmm, that'll work. I was playing a little bit on micro gaming, and boy did that go well. I'll show you the graph in a moment. I'm never getting a call here. If I do, I'm probably beat. But nah, he wouldn't have checked the full house here, I think. Right, so yeah, I've been playing on micro gaming. Refresh that up 122 plus like 20 in rake back 18, so 140. So today, it up 240 buy uh, euros right now, 12 buy ins. So, Certainly not gonna complain about that. At one point, I was up. Uh, what was what was the high point? Like 190. But yeah, obviously I lost some of that. Two uh, binds, two of these binds that I lost, I got like two out of or one out of or something like that. And the other ones, I guess, were fair losing them. And so no hard feelings. Everything is uh, dandy, as they say. So. You know what, let's call, let's see what he does on the turn here. Kind of curious. He's checking, we bet, and we take it down, that's a good start. Right, I'm keeping an eye out on the micro gaming lobby. There was a proper maniac on earlier there that we took for uh, at least one buy in, but there was another buy in. Uh, Crazy person I took for six buy-ins at Pilot 10. It was a lot of fun. Um, we flop a wrap three base here, so I'm fine keeping the pot small. Having no no clubs at all. Apparently he's liking that card more than we do. That is fair. So I opened up one kilo twenty table on micro. Here, peculiar race. Oh, he's all in. Never mind. Uh, I guess we have to call. Gonna be in position. It's gonna matter. Position is gonna matter. I mean, We're not gonna be that short on the flop. We do flop and open ender. Uh, no flush blockers whatsoever. We are fighting for a sizable side pot here. Mm. I hope it's going to be tough for him to call with an over pair. Wanted side pot. Nice. So the side pot wheel. Did we get it? No, he. I was gonna say, like, did we get it all? We did not, and that's fair. I'm sure he's hating us now. We have some hands, like, sort of, um, down here. Three ways. Ugh. 
I don't know what to do in these spots if I am, am allowed, so to say, to call, to call there uh, to call there in the small blind. I'm not quite sure. We flopped up too. So let's make a full house here on the turn. That is the plan. Opened up another PLO 20 table that is potentially juicy. So now we turn a gutter on top of our top two. They all check. I'm actually gonna bet here as a more or less a pure bluff. So I would be the most likely to check a decent flush or any flush here. Nice. You know what, my 300 game is weak. Maybe I'll just close this table. Seeing that I now have a fifth table open on the side, I'll leave it be for now. Let's watch this first. Certainly folded wisely. Going for the pot here, huh? He's not loving this card, I would assume. Okay, so the one PLO... What happened here? Yeah, the ace is the... Dude had ace jack six five. Make a straight. No. I guess he had aces and a gut shot on the turn. He has flush as well. Let me check up on that. He had spades, jack high. So he turned the jack high spade draw as well. He seems to be fairly call happy. We have a hand up here. Right, I was gonna say that the uh, micro gaming table that I have opened pretty much sucks, so gotta let it go. And along the same lines, I'll let this one go. Looks like that other micro gaming table has a live player. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks for the quick pop in. Yeah, this was a surprise to me that they asked me. Like once when I was watching, I kept chatting in the chat, and then I got a PM on Discord, and I was like, oh, he's telling me to stop spamming the chat. But it was quite the opposite. He was asking me to spam it more as a mod. So I certainly was surprised. Mm. 
Uh, the status for the day is gonna be helped by this hand, hopefully. Where I decided to be sticky and... Okay, only kings. Come on, hold. Nice! So that helps the status. latest tally for micro gaming 140 plus what did i say like 15 18 almost 20 in rake back so 160 yeah uh, up like 260 270 in total well, that's a nice flop i think i hope I do like that line. Uh, a mod here is my most cheap crap. <laughs> right, so I think this I'll call even for the pot size. And would you look at that? Yeah, I'll need to let go. Cool results, got good game. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, PLO 50, you know, we're on the way. Not there yet, but inching our way closer and closer. Or is it at least fishy, possibly maniac -y? Um, ex Ooh, hang on, the potentially very good Kilo 20 table has a seat open. And on that one, the average pot size right now is 18 euros for a Kilo 20 table. That is hefty. Um, possibly we're good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I noticed that too, the Alte. I noticed that too. Right, so let's check once more. We might be good unless he has S10. No, he has uh, kings. Fair enough. We end up making top two, so we now beat at least all the other eights. Which didn't matter, he had ace, ten, nine, seven of suit, so we're liking this guy a lot. It's a little bit worrying that this dude has position on us. I mean, we're only three-handed, so he doesn't have it all that often, but he is deep. He's also a capable player. Yeah, I noticed that too, there are a lot of these kind of questions. So it looks like he can check when he has nothing on board, so even if he has a little piece of it. We turn a wrap, which might be useful. Certainly gonna bet this. So we made the lower straight. So we didn't have sevens. Four half flush is good as well. Ooh. I'd say this is a good hand. Not the greatest flop. Just gonna check and check old here, I think. Let's 
research here, might be a pot brewing. Looks like there's a pot going on down here as well. Let's watch this first. I'll switch back and forth. The other table, they keep checking it until the river. And nobody had a pair. Ace King, Jack 3 versus Ace 10, 8, 5. Wow. It's feeling it, huh? Incidentally, we would have, but we would have never survived until, you know, past the flop. And also, I should never be in this hand with these cards, so it's all good. We have a double paired single suited hand, tens and sevens here on the short handed micro gaming table. Fair enough. Yeah, thanks, the Alter. Slowly but steadily. I don't even know how much I'm up this week. I know on micro I'm up like something insane little past seven days, like s almost 700 euros. But honestly, I have no idea how much I'm up on micro ga on runner ones because I cashed out there and it's I just have the buy-ins in total written down. I didn't take note of the runner ones profit. We're getting there, slowly. Hey, Raven, welcome back. Okay, and I'm probably calling. This is an interesting board. Never folding here. Top pair and double gutter. Probably gonna come over the top. Here I turn the ace, let's see how good that is. He bets I've, he bets like three quarters, I'll fold on table four against him. Take a take get a fold here, which is awesome. I like that. You need to let's oh no, I definitely need to let go. But don't I crush Pilo 50? I was never quite sure if these comments were trolls or if they were being serious. I had no idea. Oh, that's uh, not a great. Oh, never mind. We are still two takedown. Ace Queen 9 4, no good. Yeah, I saw these comments and left. They're quite amusing. That's like 50 50 on those being a troll or not. And boy, chips are flying on all the run at once tables as well. There's races left and right. Yeah, yeah, that was good too. <laughs> Keep putting that so. That is solid. Right. So. Let's see what happens here first. Get one fold uh, down there on table four. Wow. So here I'm gonna let it go with just the gutter. Get called here, which is awesome. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. That was a nice pot, almost the whole buy in there. Not 
Well, that's nice. So, by the way, the one uh, extra micro table I have open. Actually, there's a decent spot coming up here. Certainly good bluffing spot. I got aces on the table with Firewolf here. So here I'm gonna just pawn it. Nasty flop. Let you know if the potting works. Ah, uh, he called with 6-4, huh? No, but a6, two pair, okay. This dude left, which is unfortunate. So I lost a buy in there, or half a buy in, I was down. Yeah, I lost a buy in total on that table. Can't do anything here but check and check fold. Unless like a jack or a seven rolls off, then maybe there's some bluffing to be done. I think I'll leave this table. Yeah, this one I'm letting go. And this is rather nice. Okay, somebody's sitting in, so then I'll probably stick around. Decent splash up here. I do have a hand. So why not? Ooh, more aces. It's a good board. Sobi has a queen. Ugh, Sobi has two queens. Did you just call? Oh, and I got more aces. Up here, we're gonna play for a big one. Wow. Here, we have more aces, you know, I flop pure as well. I'm not certain what the move is here. I mean, ugh. Don't have any back doors. I'll just let it go. Could have, should have, could have. Doesn't matter, happy having let it go. We're in great shape at all. Took it down on the aces table with the half pot sized. And this I would consider. Ooh, a decent river. The other Pilo 20 table now has a fun player there as well. A really fun player. So for now, we're gonna stick to five tables. Mm, he's too short to even consider calling. Not a splash action going on here. This is also a good flop. Here we come soon. <laughs> you catch that beauty sleep. Not saying you need it, but it's always nice to get enough sleep. Thanks for dropping in, uh, Der Alter. Soon. Well, you know, if I have another few weeks like these, then I might be coming around sooner than I than I thought. I would have to check the latest uh, numbers where my bankroll is in at now. Last time I checked, it was at where was it at 2.7, which isn't a lot because I had to take some out, like a lot of the. Actually, I, I would be at. Hang on. We don't. Have, ooh, wonderful. 
And this guy is now at this table too. He's the person why I sat back in at the other micro gaming table again. Yeah, so I had to take some money out at the beginning of the year and this month as well. And in total, that would have been actually been enough to get us to Pilo 50, but couldn't be helped. There's some unexpected expenses, so to say. And man, all the tables are lively, be it microgaming, be it uh, run at once. Chips are flying left and right. This might be one interesting session. Gee, it's a pretty profitable one already. Like one and a half buy in, something like that. Min race, huh? I am not sure how. Smarter just to bluff him. Especially now. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Sorry, I think I had the wrong table in view there for a moment. That was the table I was talking about. So this table is uh, really short. I might uh, give that one the axe in a moment. It helps that I flopped the nuts right now. Not anymore. Good thing I checked. What's going on here? Aces against flush. He rebuys. Let's hope he stays. Ooh. Also an interesting board. Raven, I'll do my very, very best. And good night to you, Raven. Ugh. This is just ugly. For a pot sized, I mean, I do have some backdoor stuff. Let this one go. Make the nuts on another table. Three haces down here. Right. I have a tough time moving the table over. There's just so much going on. Okay, I took it down with the nut straight, uh, nut flush. flop here. I think I will raise that one. Hang on, I'll move it out of the way for a moment. Here, I'll let it go. So I raised on the other table and I would say that is a good turn. And here the money is now going in. Ugh! Damn it. Too bad. Could not be helped. Table one is now heads up as well. That's now fun.
Just gotta check it here, and I do take it down, nice. See what happens up here, take that one down as well. Let's just limp here for a change, why not? Blind versus blind, I think that is allowed. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate that he made the nut flush there in the end. Right on. So he is pretty short, I have no idea if he knows how to short stack. Chances are he doesn't. Don't try to be, I'm not trying to be nasty, it's just that most people don't. Here, interesting turn, giving us a very decent grab. A paired board, though. Call it once. Kind of doubt he has a speed right now. Unless he turned, you know, threes. Very likely check and check call. That was perfect, that check. That worked out beautifully. In for it. Go let it go. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to the channel. That is huge, a chain at this rate. What the hell? That is quite a thing. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Nut Raisin. Not only uh, was I in the channel in Jane Anderson's channel uh, earlier, I have my very own streaming channel. This one right here, where I stream Pilo 20 almost every day. Well, every day. And I'm having quite a day. I'm up like 230 in total. And thanks everybody for coming over. That is quite the thing. <laughs> so how did the Jane Anders session end up? Last I checked, he was up like 1.2, something like that, possibly. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming over, everyone. So right now we are sitting on four tables, two of them on run at once, uh, two on the micro gaming network, and chips are flying on the micro gaming network. We have uh, this red tag on two tables here and here. Red tag being, you know, a little bit maniac, to put it mildly. And I'm expecting some uh, nice pulse uh, pots. Case in point here, we already took down uh, a few. I feel like all of these names are familiar, not least because I saw all of you in the Jane Anders stream earlier when I was in there myself. Oh, sorry for the wild switching here. Flop, uh, two pair and a pretty bad flush draw. Oh, make that a decent full house, unless somebody has ace jack. It's not impossible. Great indeed! 320 viewers! <laughs> So no pressure, huh? To play well at one o'clock in the morning. 
E-Race isn't that as concerning. That's concerning. We were ahead of Jacks. Ahead of Tens. I'm not sure I can fold here. There's one hand that beats us. At 20 cents? Let's hope that was a misclick. There's Jack. The new nasty hunteries. <laughs> what? <laughs> that shit. Gotta move on right away, but hope things are going good at your end smile. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for everything, for the raids, for the resub. I have chained Anders as a subscriber. Ah, how much crazier can I get? He's the guy that got me into PLO. Watching his uh, free videos. Now he's raiding my channel, subscribing to my channel. <laughs> the new nasty nut, eh? Yeah, it's, it's... I'm kind of feeling it. And on this table, I'm definitely gonna call. We have Mr. Nuts here, aptly named. Who definitely deserves a red tag, judging by his stats. And so we're at 100 BB. This dude is short. Cardia Rage, thank you very much for the follow. Making my night that much better. So he bets the part, huh? I missed the nuts behind us. I think I'll just part it here, to be honest. If he comes over the top, then so be it. So here I raced. He does come over the top. And now I'll shut it down here. And it looks like we're going to be playing a big one. He has 6-8, he has jack-7 as well, and we split up his stack. Very nice, 14 euros coming our way, wow. Ha! That's an interesting card. wonder if I should. He's telling me I shouldn't. Fair enough, you know, if he's... Nice enough to give us that info. I think I tend to believe him. Coming over the top, I mean... Might be a thing. So here I have all the blockers, which is pretty sweet actually. Here, <laughs> let's check it. Um, upgraded from having air to having a set. Which is also interesting. That's part, I really hope he calls now. Oh, he raises, I didn't mean that. Need to let it go. Over the hands. Straight six to ten. They both had a straight. Sorry about that. Um so we have a pair and a gut shot. Four bay part, okay. Like, note to self, don't go crazy. Yeah, so as I said, I stream PLO pretty much every day. Ooh, Fussby, thanks a lot for the follow. And. Pretty much only on Runner ones, unless there's some fun tables going on micro gaming, going on on micro gaming. And 
have been doing rather well. Like in the first month on Run at Once, I somehow managed to be up almost 100 buy-ins, like 90 something. I PLO 10 back then. I have no idea how this dude plays. Hmm. That is a board. That's an interesting one. Just the gutter and the backdoor flush. I think I'll just uh, repart it, should he bet. Here I called, heads up, end up making the nuts on the turn. And this table is going heads up, and I suck at heads up, so I'm gonna close it, substitute it for a better one. He comes over the top, let's do this. Kings and threes, okay, that's taking that's taking care of the kings right there. Nice. Very nice. Good turn. Yeah, and today I am up. I yeah, need to check how things are going on run once right now. So that's 100 there, 125 plus 20 rake back, 145, 245 euros. So that's what, 12 binds? Frenchy, yeah, I just, I just, uh, good timing. I just uh, said, like I, in the first stream I was up five binds, 100 euros right there. And while watching Jane Anders, I got the urge to play myself. That almost sounded weird. Almost. And was up like 120 euros or something. Um, here I'm just gonna check. Almost bet there. Having checked uh, once, I think I'll do it again. <laughs> Take that. And unfortunately, I mean... Ugh, Aaron the open ender, I don't think so to be honest. He raises now. That's weird. River Jacks? Slow played quads now. Same hand? Hmm. I'll let it go, I think. Yeah, so uh, this session, I think I'm breaking even right now, but you know, the day is, still, the day is going great. And, uh, in, matter of fact, this whole week has been going great. I had an awesome off-stream session where I short-stacked PLO 50 on micro, and I managed to take down like 300 euros in an hour or something crazy. But I ran like God. I can't, I can't rightfully claim that I played that well. Probably didn't play horribly, but... Not deserving, what was it, 20 binds. So, disclaimer, I ran like odd. But in total, this week, the last seven days, I'm up like seven, eight, nine hundred. I honestly don't know because I didn't quite keep track of my winnings on run ones. Only know the total amount of binds. Everything is good, it's the short version. So we flop top and bottom here. Against him, that's something. Make that three pair and a second nut flush blocker. Everybody checks though, so I'll try to take it away, I think. Alright, that's him down. I doubt he will call. Neato. Yeah, 
Yeah, so how did the Jane Ender session end? I'm curious. Yeah, so not the board I was looking for. I was gonna say, don't make it a king, don't make life hard on me. Yeah. Okay. So I guess he doesn't have the full house. Nice! Didn't even have to... straight there. That's certainly a gift. <laughs> Your teachings are invaluable! And I'm not even kidding, I value your input, as you well know. Every time you get you put something into chat, I do take note. Woot! I don't think I can pronounce the name. As Bob for, uh, as Bob can't. I never know what the four is in lead speak. The important thing I w I'm trying to say is thank you for the follow. Got kings here. We have a crazy dude raising. St Still, I'm not gonna out crazy crazy. Give me an ace in there as well, and sure, I'll raise. So unless he bets part, I'm gonna take one off here. He seems to be a little bit too active for his own good. He checks and it's also very welcome. have the best hand right now. Really? <laughs> Do I have a feeling if even if he best have the best hand and should it should remain the best hand on the river, he's gonna bet the river now that he decided to do the minimum check raise. Rat Raid! Hey welcome back to the channel Rat Raid. I am from Germany. I hail from Eastern Germany, to be exact. So I saw the wall come down from the other side. And Frenchie is just taking care of things in the chat. Um, Divolik? Hmm. That's not a bad idea. Maybe he's interested in... Uh, yeah, maybe that's interesting to him. It's not a bad idea. Thank you, Divolik. I'll ask him that. Ask him, uh, and I'll see uh, what he says, if he thinks it's a good idea. See if there are some short stacking opportunities. Ooh, there might be. I see tables full of complete unknowns at PLO 50. That is always a good sign. At least one table full of unknowns. 
Might be worth a while. <clears throat> Mm, not quite. Unfortunately, oh, the red tag left on both tables. That's a pity. We have the Kinking 8 7 here with an always entertaining under the gun limp. Let's raise the price of admission a little bit. Good old under the gun limp re race, huh? Okay, let's outflop him. Let's punish him. I think we are the ones getting punished. What? Get out of the way. Very unfortunate. But probably the only unfortunate thing in that hand is possibly that I called. Maybe I could just lay it down. Nothing unfortunate here. Oh, well, I did have a similar situation where I flopped the full house, somebody else had quads. And it was tough to uh, outdraw. So I have to do some my hand as well. Making six do's that less likely. So I'm sitting on one pillow 50 table short stacking there at 30 big blinds, which used to be my main game. Past one and a half years I was a short stacker. I know, I know. You're not very well liked. I understand why. But it made it easier moving up the limits. Because the bankroll requirements are, you know, one third if you only buying for 30 big blinds. So no reason to come over the top. Actually, wants to cut off open. Nah. Make the eight a ten in there. The king, king, the king, queen, queen, ten. Maybe. Yeah. But I think that was fine. Just calling. Yeah, that was an okay hand for the button. The king jack six five. That was suited. That down. I flop interesting down here against Mr. Nuts. Huh? Let's check this one. Like, I think I bet this a lot. This time, checking sounds good to me. Now I add a flush route to my arsenal. Also, he checked. It's a good sign. He raises, huh? Okay, well, I, I'm not folding. Let's get there. It's late, but I think we got there, right? Oops, let's see if he has something that missed and wants to bluff now. Leading out here, I think I get a lot of folds. Do it. Noxu cow. Not just part of like any race looks suspicious. This maybe he thinks this is a bluff if I part it. For a moment I was worried, because it is late, I've been playing for a while today. For a moment I was worried that I might not might have misread my hand here. Not the case though. 
On the short second table, I have a hand. I'll bring it over. The King Queen 10 9 uh, double suited. Perfect short second hand. And this dude has been good for a lot of binds in the past. Rizuccio. He wears the red tag proudly. Dimes! Thank you for the follow! Thanks. So we have a gutter and a flush draw. Against a small blind caller who has a lot of aces. He checks again. Let's hope we're good. Nice, we are good. Wait, did we split it? Nope, we are good. Calling here button versus in the big blind versus the button. Perfectly fine with the king jack jack, I think. And we have a hand up here. 10, 10, 8, 4, double suited, blind versus blind. <laughs> Interesting turn. I mean, if he checks, I kind of doubt he's hoping to get a check raise in with the nut straight here. gonna be very surprised if he raises here I probably I would probably call hoping that he does it with blockers hmm unfortunately so this dude seems to be very active as well this is a little bit thin. Ooh, he comes over the top. Let's watch that. Took it down on table one with a three bet. If it's a race, just not a, no three bet involved. Check ten. Hmm. Seems a little bit optimistic. As a four bet at least. This is a weird table. So he limps a lot now, he min races under the gun. I can't make my mind up about this dude. I only know that he's wearing the wrong tag. He's certainly not tight. Okay, he never found the race button in 64 hands. I wonder what hand he has. Would have been interesting to be in here now. That's for certain. Kings, only kings, huh? Wow. Certainly a little bit of a surprise. Who knew he had it in him? Ooh, large pot down here, wow. Sevens, jacks, okay. <laughs> Tough one for him. That short second table is looking mighty fine. Just looking at the players there. Get raised here by this dude who seems to be three betting a lot, 18 per 18.5 percent almost. Get 
can't do anything here. I mean... Maybe I can... Maybe I should think about raising in spots like these sometimes. Ooh, and there's another short second table with the same Versucho guy. I'm gonna open the tables. I'll bring the short second tables over whenever something interesting happens. Speaking of which, um, 30 BB, this might be a little bit too short. It's been a while since I checked my 30 big blind ranges. Now as played, the money is going in. Also a good thing that he, didn't come out, that he didn't come over the top. He has a gutter and... No, really, give me that flush. Ugh. He was drawing thin, let's put it like that. Another hand, he should be calling against a 30 big blind razor. Hmm, one more ASR. Huh? Mr. Nuts. Hmm. Ooh. I got something. They're mazes. Fortunately, it gets folded around to us in the small blind, so it's not going to be blind versus blind. In the short stacking world, I flop a flush here. The deuce rolls off. It's gonna check again. Took it down. E. Okay. Interesting spot here where I came over the top. Do have the top set, which is helpful. Uh, he is deep as well. Ugh, this is kind of ugly. Let's call once. Uh, in the short second world, I might make trips. Bring it over. raised here. This is, I think this one I'm gonna call. Um, I'm gonna call here. Hoping to fill up basically. Nice. I, I was, you know, that was pure optimism. Not saying that was great. Pure optimism. Nothing optimistic about coming over the top here, that's certainly standard with the Ace King Queen 10. Single suited in spades. Wow. So as the three better, I'm not folding here. If he comes over the top, we're gonna play for it all. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm always C betting here is what I meant to say. Right, now that's a little bit interesting. I mean I Block the jack by proxy. I have a lot of the cards that jacks usually come with, like queens, tens, even kings. That being said, I'll check it. I can't fold for this bet size, unfortunately. Aces. That was a peculiar way to play Aces. 
not re not raised before the flop and then let him when he could very well be there not dead but behind interesting move this one I'll let go Also rather thin, but there's one dude sitting out. We have a pretty crazy table, a uh, pretty call happy table. Doesn't seem to re-raise a lot. And this is pro actually, I think it's fine to come over the top here. Don't, you don't even have the best flush draw. It's a pity. We weren't doing bad against, uh, except for that our hearts were covered, but we weren't doing bad against these rangers at all. Another decent hand down here. Double suited one gap, run down ten high. Mm, I could raise it, but probably not against the crazy dude. Yeah, that was lucky though. I shouldn't have. I probably should have folded there in that spot. Talking about the BAM and the spot I was referring to, of course, which was when I doubled up here when I filled up with the Queen's full. The limp, not on my watch, I think. You flop a very top pair. <laughs> he did have an open and straight flush redraw? I didn't even notice that. Man, that would have that would have been one for the highlight reel for sure. And speaking of highlights, this is a pretty fun turn as well. Yeah yeah, I, I this time I figured Garen's luck, but it's nice of you to mention because I sometimes have horrible hand recollection when I play and people comment, which I always appreciate. When I get comments on strategy and advice and yeah, and then I sometimes I don't know, but like, what the hell are you talking about? Even though it's only been like three minutes ago. I heard the whoopsh. Sleepers! Sleepers too, thank you very much for the follow. Bringing me up to 230 followers, wow. Thanks for rounding off that number, sleepers. But since last we checked, we're still down one buy-in on micro gaming. Doesn't change anything about the day being quite amazing in total. So fair enough. Let's check in with the run at once table for a moment. The golden blazer. <laughs> I can explain the golden blazer. Welcome to the channel, mate. Um, uh, Jane Anders raided me. Mm, gonna call here. And nice of you to drop in, man. I thought you were usually busy at this hour. And if you guys want to see a very, very fun sit uh, mid stakes. Uh, f from my perspective, almost high stakes, uh, sit and go and tournament player, then you cannot do you, it's hard to do better than the Golden Blazers channel. Uh, all around, very enjoyable stream, very nice uh, gentleman. 
So if you, uh, you should check him out. Chances are you're gonna like him. Every time I host him, I end up stay sticking around in the channel just because it's all sorts of entertaining. Always happy to give him a shout out. Certainly deserves it. Take it down here, and we have aces on run at once. Let's run at once with aces. And we have a race on the call in front of us. Which is pretty awesome. Mm, so three base, I'm gonna check and check fold. At that, I think. Doesn't change much. At least not from my perspective. Got aces on another table. Okay, let's make it another four. I'll be happy. The other ace has got a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. No argument there. Already have jacks, huh? Wow. Jackson and well, he had a pretty decent wrap there, I think. From what I saw. So I do have four in my hand myself. I actually could have bet the flop here. Don't know why I didn't. Yeah, actually, give Golden Blazer a shout, shout out. So, should you want to check out his channel, which you definitely should, then this will make it easier. Right, that's a good hand. Check 1099 in the cutoff. Looking nice enough. Up a wrap. Against the big blind, who knows what he's showing up with. Don Korea, hey, welcome back to the channel, Don Korea. Rated indeed. Wow. I flopped something nice short stacking. And with the added flush draw and the gutter, ugh, this is of course a sucky card, but I'm still gonna pot it here. Hang on, let me move this out of the way for a moment. With the 7 in my hand, I think I am gonna see that here. Okay, and I'll potted it on the other player. Eh, uh, player on the other table, I'm all kinds of confused apparently. Now this is of course not welcome at all. But I'm not falling. Not flush draw. Ooh yes. Kings and I have him. Ah nice! I was free rolling him. And here I got aces uh, blind versus blind and I get raised uh, as a short second. This is awesome. Not the flop I was looking for, but then again, now the money's going in. He has two pair. Let's make it another five or six. Ugh. Very unfortunate. Need to check here, I think. Actually, against Mr. Nuts, I might have been able to squeeze another seabed in here. Oh, 
you're having a dinner break, fair enough, and then meeting your fiance. Fair enough, that explains it. I was curious why you had time to be in other people's streams, because that's usually the time of the day that you're streaming. and a pocket pair. I'm just gonna let this one go. Just the open ender, no back doors, no flush blockers, all that jazz. There shall be better spots. Possibly be one of them. So we could open up another run at once table. Let me check out the tables I have open, see if there's one among them that might not be so interesting anymore. Oh, I thought there was a big pot brewing here. But he folded. Mm, all the micro gaming tables are looking mighty fine, so I think I'll. How helpful is the hut for Pilo? Um, most helpful are the pre flush sets that you have in the uh, uh, box with uh, names here. So for VPIP, uh, Preflop Race 3 bet and 4 bet is very helpful. And this, by the way, this is a Jane Anders hat, hat which you can download in the Mastermind. Just modified the colors. And... So for post flip stuff, also interesting is like to see how often do they C-bet, how often do they fold against C-bet, stuff like that. It's the crazy dude. Sure, let's flop a set. So, uh, pretty helpful, I would say. Ooh, set flopped. But uh, strangely enough, I do not miss it on run at once. Like, the, I mostly needed to like check out the general uh, tendencies and uh, get a feel for the table, like how is that aggressive, how foldy is that table. And the dynamic avatars, at least for pre flop stuff, uh, were quite nice in that regard. I was... I thought I might be missing the hut much more than I do. Now I don't miss it at all, actually. I don't think about not having it anymore. Because I mainly play on run at once now. Uh, I think that be dead in at least one spot, right? Yeah. Check 10, 6, 7, double suited. I'll open that. I know, you're always busy, aren't you? It's not like poker is all you do, right? And it's very nice to see, finally see you make it to the channel. Last time you uh, came around, you just caught me at the tail end of the stream where I was just finishing, right? I have kings down here. Three ways. Mm. With a seven in my hand against another, I think I'll go for a bet here. Ooh, 
Ooh, take it down. Make two pair now, which is probably good. I would think. Queen nine six five two of the button. I think it's close, but with these two people who certainly can re-raise, I think I'll let it go. Yeah, it's appreciated, the Golden Blazer. Very, blazer. Very nice seeing you here. Hmm. With the Ace King specifically, this can be re raised. Let's do that. He never put a 4 bet in, so if he does, I'm gonna have to lay down. Not being results oriented at all, but the thing about this spot was that he is never folding here, and if he calls, he calls as well, and then I, you know, if I play, play a 3 bait, then I might as well just call here instead of raise. Offspring 2000. Uh, hang on, I'm going to put my question to chat because I'm not sure what you mean by LH. Right, call here. Let's make it flush. No flush, and I'll let this one go. I'm not going to call here. In case he bets here, he bets pot, I let it go. Here, I flop rather nice, I would say. The current nuts. Oh! Oh, limit, uh, right. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Found it very useful there. Yeah, but a much simpler hut, I, I, I seem to remember. Yeah, but um, I was like playing full ring, so I was, uh, it was easy to play a lot of tables. And then I really needed a hut. Because it was impossible to keep up with everything. This one I'll let go, triple suited. A little bit too optimistic. Yeah, so then I was massively multi-tabling at times. Even worked my way, in the end I worked my way up to 24 tables, which was somewhere between really crazy and really entertaining. Couldn't do it for more than one and a half hours until my brain turned to mush for a while. Also, you know, there's no room for any creative plays. By that time I had the limit full ring game pretty, pretty well down, at least for, as if I had a decent standard game. Decent ABC game. And relied a lot on the hut there. What's happening here? Here, Jacks and a flush run. Here, Jacks. Better flush run and a ace kicker. Might be a little bit loose, that person. On table 2 I took it down pre with a raise in a splash pot, let's limp in here. Cool. Then we'll just do it like this. No point in just calling with this small stack size. Okay, we need an 8. Or I guess a 10 on a turn would have been nice too. Yeah, but with the extra money I think that was more than alright. Being in there.
Ooh. Follow up a decent uh, rundown with a decent uh, hand. Ace, Ace, Queen, Sixth. Single suited. Unfortunately, I got a walk. Sad face. Oh well. Taking down the small blind is also okay. Nope. This is going to be another uh, limp re race. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. This one I have to let go. He's I haven't seen him re-raise. This is not doing well against the four betting. What is it? Three three betting range. Yeah. This, however, is going to be a fine squeeze. I get aces on table two once more. Squeeze it up here. Also not going to be happy should he come over the top, because again I'm not doing great against the range that can do that. Ugh. I'm gonna check behind here for now. Okay, let's put that ace to work. Okay, you know, I, dis I did decide to call. And I would say I flopped rather nicely. Top 2, got a backdoor flush. Took it down on table uh, 2 when I decided to bet that turn. I got some stuff going on all over the place. He calls. Right now we have him in bad shape. Now he's drawing dead, I think, unless a 10 rolls off. So here I have that. And here, oh, being shorty, uh, shorty a little bit, I'm gonna just come over the top right away. He has a very nice hand, but no good in the end. Right on. Um, ugh. <laughs> okay, this board went from all right to bad to worse. Maybe we split it up with someone. No. Yeah, the ten seven. Interesting. Weirdest race size. Ooh, Naka Dace is on a table where I have a huge stack. Where I get raised by a 100 BP stack, which is awesome. Right, so here we're, like everybody's in here. I'm against 80 cents, huh? I mean, maybe there's some value in a spade rolling off. Oh, wonderful. He has aces as well. I like his better, I would say. And we're always going to split this one up. Eno you know, bets large. I'm definitely out. Even the flop call was... Ugh. But for that uh, si bet size, I mean... And I got more aces. I got aces up here, I got aces down here. I got aces, you got aces, everybody gets aces. Here we get to squeeze, which I intend to do. Again, gonna be cautious here three ways. Now, a little bit interesting, because I do have all the nut blockers, right? I think I just doubled up short stacking. Yes, I did. Uh, this might be just a hand, because I'm always going to check, but maybe I'm good now. 
Um, no, I had a f king jack. Ace queen is unlikely, but not impossible. Also, not my standard MO to go to come in for the bet there. I think. Let's check it at a flush draw. Hey, Sarge and Pepper in the channel as well. Nice to see you here, Sarge and Pepper. I always see you in uh, the Golden Blazers channel. End up making the third nuts. Interesting, this Firewolf seemed to be... Uh, like a loose passive dude earlier now. He's uh, looking more like a decent player, actually. Ooh. Ace Queen Jack 7 double suited. Looking mighty fine. We have the open ender, and that is it. Short stacking, I have to. Well, not that short anymore. I have the second nuts. Nobody bet the flop. I will do some betting here. He was the pre flop raiser, so if he had a flush draw, I would expect him to bet it. I'm gonna leave the table in a moment because I'm not short anymore. I'm not rolled for Pilo 50 yet, so. I'm not gonna go crazy. That is a very welcome side, giving us the nuts. We don't have the queens, which is also nice, so maybe he has the queen high flush. Hopefully he doesn't have the straight flush. Don't look like it. Flop top two here. Make the top three, I guess. I decided to come over the top here. Um, it's probably a little bit too thin, to be honest, even against the button race. But I'll just check and check fold, I think. Yeah, I think that was a little bit too optimistic. Um, spot. He checks. It's very nice of him. Here things get a little bit uh, entertaining. He bets and I'm confused. Really? Check that full uh, that set on the turn now. Huh? A whole bunch of aces down here. And at 100 BB, I'm happy raising it. On the button, I would probably just have called.
Hmm. Bed folding is probably the way here. Good. Choco. Choco, hey, thanks a lot for the uh, follow. Appreciate that. That is not a fun turn. And again, except for another 5 or an ace, not many of them would have been. Against Mr. Nuts, so. Huh? This one as well, I think. Hmm, okay. Ooh, that's a good flop. Oh, bets. Still gonna call even three ways. Here, this is a fine squeezing hand. The ace nine seven eight. All right, so he bets small once more. I do take it down with the flush there. He had a six high flush. I had a better flush. Here, he bets once more. So I felt I really wanted to check here, I think, and well, and I'm not gonna let this one go, even though I have some back doors. Yeah, no, really. I was gonna say he never has the aces here the way this hand went down. Wow, people just keep surprising me with playing aces. Uh, really cagey. So this turn I appreciate it a lot. Get called here. But he did have to straight, fair enough. Almost laid it down too, then I thought I'm at least blocking the lower straight quite heavily. Of course not blocking the the other one. So it is getting a bit late. I think the table where I'm insanely deep. I'm gonna close this one once the blinds come around. 
There are some fun players sitting here. Two of them are really deep and... It is highly likely that I'm not playing my absolute A game anymore. Whatever that means for my game. But I think limiting the amount of mistakes... Or limiting myself to making... Uh, mistakes on the cheaper end, not for, you know... Four buy-ins or something. It's probably a smart idea at this point in time. Hmm, just kind of check here. That being said, on the table I now have aces. Let's play those, I would say. Wow, I make everything. Make the flush, make a full house. And the aces hand is looking mighty fine as well. Giving us the top set and another flush draw. Okay, let's do this first, where I got called in one spot. Called there, which is awesome. With the aces, I took it down with the half pot C bet. Here, I decided to be sticky all the way, and I imagine I'm gonna stay sticky. I do have the 10. If he has the straight as well, then so be it. I don't really see what he could be bluffing with. Ugh. Yeah, did I have it? He had it from the get go. Very unfortunate. doubling up here. Crazy if he bets large now, I'm probably gonna lay it down. Yeah. That's a fine hand to follow up with. Is King Queen 10 seeing a suited? So generally speaking, I'm pretty certain I've seabed too much. That being said, here I don't really mind. He's in the the small blinds, not gonna love this board all that often. Do turn a gutter on top. I'll check now though. And should he check, I'm gonna part it. Cause I have nothing. It's a good point in time to turn it into a bluff, I think. Nice. Oh, huge pot down here. Top set is good. Well, top full house, I should say. Pfft. 
How is that for a board? Giving us the nut flush draw is on top, so I think here I'll just call Pay to come over the top, see him fold. If he has kings, we have outs, just picked up an additional out in the form of a gutter. He doesn't have kings, he has babkas. Well, he had two pair, I guess. Wow. How's that for a re raise? We're immediately liking this guy. Hmm, in a decent splash against Blue Shirt Clark. Well, if he's calling, then I can't really be in here. It's highly unfortunate. And duh! I kind of spaced out here. Should have clicked the other button. Let's watch this first. And I flopped massively on that, uh, flopped the nuts on the other table here. He took it down with his bet. Cool. Shirt left, that is very unfortunate. Seems like a fun guy. Just checking out some tables if there's anything worthwhile. Doesn't really look like it. pairs. And in total we are probably breaking even for the session. We might be down like one or half a mine, something like that. Given the mistakes that I, that I made, that is not a bad result. Everybody checked here, huh? Okay. If I get surprised again by somebody slow playing really weirdly. Same hand. Okay, let's do this once more then. Right on. I think I have the nuts here, right? Really? Okay, show me the king. He's... <laughs> What's with people and aces and not betting them pre? It's freaking me out, man. What in the deuce? Okay, let's check here, and we do take it down. Needle. I guess we have a wrap on a rainbow board. Doesn't sound that bad, actually. Nice. Make that the current nuts with a redraw.
<laughs> yes. Not my read route, it just came in. Let's hope it's not his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Can't be helped. Okay, we have a pair and a flush draw. A half pot. Let's take one off. Adding a gutter to our arsenal. You know, checks. Foltis naturally, but here I do have the nuts, which is sweet. So he raised, I came over the top. So he's not 3 betting or 4 betting a lot. Um, this one I'll let go against the cutoff. The side cards are a little bit too disconnected. Even though they always look so nice, the double suit hands, there is a line to be drawn somewhere. In a splash pot, I pick up a dec uh, hand that's decent enough, I would say. The yes, king jack 8, suited in hearts, get raised. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. In a moot. Wow, and having come over the top of the min razor here, this is a decent board. Okay, let's watch this first. What these guys have. He has something, he has something as well. Good for you guys. Who's taking it down the aces? That's always nice to see. Aces not losing. Yeah, this is awesome. Please call, please call, please call, please call. And I think I'll wait a moment here. Needs to be considered carefully. What to do, what to do. Awesome. The nuts stay the nuts. If we are short, there's a maybe a chance that he's gonna call for half of the pot here. Nope. Top pair and the nut flash draw and down. Same is true here, top pair and a flush draw. Fortunately he raises, but I'm still not folding just yet. Dime! Say hey, thanks for the kind words! Um, appreciate that a lot. Um, I think I started playing poker and I thought about it like somebody asked earlier today and I'm not quite sure potentially um, this I'm folding. Like 2009 or something? Yeah. Yeah, and thanks for saying that, Dimes. Even though it's a little bit tired, I'm not at my best y best anymore, but... Thanks. 
we add a flush draw. Yeah, so now it's probably it's 10 years, I guess. On and off, there were some breaks in between. The nuts stayed or nuts. I'm kind of confused what he's calling with the whole time. Maybe like a 10 6. Or just in the real old asset, maybe? Who knows? Let's, maybe we get to see. We do get to see. Yeah, he had a set. And a 10 6. <laughs> 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 So all of the things I just said, that's pretty, that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. And the rainbow board, certainly gonna see that, I think. Getting a top pair. Gonna come over the top here. That's a flop. What I'm gonna pot? Well, yeah. So on the other table, I uh, see that when the, when the king rolled off. Here I'm gonna pot because I'm I am blocking uh, the the nut flush draw, to, uh, which might be able to continue. I was not blocking any of the wraps, any of the straights, but blocking my own out. So I preferred going for the pot there. And given the speed he checked that even a smaller pot size probably would have ended in the same result. This is blind versus blind. I, I think he raised and I called. This is okay. Might win us the pot. Not falling. Nice. Ace is no good, my friend. And also I'll put... Uh, I have a... Like a I told my bot to I have a short bio from uh, for myself. Actually, I need to Google when was Black Friday. I know I turned pro in limit when Black Friday hit. I think I started like one or two years before that. Um. I honestly, this is probably close. It was 2011, so yeah, 2009, I think, sounds about right. With the starting. Woot! Winfield! Thanks a lot for the follow! That's pretty nice. And I'm making the wheel here. Just gonna call. And I'm... So this is a point where the hut might come in useful, but it might come in handy. But I'm just realizing I have only a few hands on him. So I was gonna check if he's check raisy in these spots. I really don't think why I should check. Don't see why I should check the nuts here. So let's bet. And I'm just remembering, seeing that there are so many of you in the stream, I have a poll on my Twitch page if you scroll down a little bit. Just curious what people think if I should include the streamer rack back in my uh, total results. I know there's just so many of you watching. If you care to voice your opinion, then by all means, I would, uh, would appreciate that. Because so far in my results, the... The deposit bonus is in there, just because it snuck in there and then I was too lazy to subtract it. But the streamer rakeback is not, and wow. Kinda digging that. So I do have the 8 and the 9 in my hand. Blocking potential straight, so I think I'll just call you in position. 
Make that straight. With my full house redraws, I can probably size down here a little, even though I don't have any diamonds, but yeah, that's fine. Cool. Nice. Take down a decent pot there due to the turn call by him. Very awesome. Again, like a, a limp re-raise here. Uh, this one I need to fold. Party poker, I played a little bit, but not much. Stars, in the past, not anymore, because uh, getting those 3% rake back, I feel, I, it f I feel actively insulted whenever I open a chest. I used to be super nova there. And, you know, getting decent rake back and all that, and... Yeah, I I feel feel like uh, it feels like a slap to the face getting those three percent or whatever it is. So I'm not playing much there. Some tournaments like sometimes I play like a turbo. I haven't or a hyper a hyper tournaments because I have a tough time sitting out like the the ten hour eight hour tournaments. But the hypers, so the PLO hyper tournaments, uh, there's like three of them in my buy and range shooting off every day. I used to play those and uh, profitably too. A little bit, you know, not hugely so far. But haven't done so since run it once open since this is what I do every day right now. It's the streaming thing. And so I didn't really have time to fit a stars tournament in there. It is the biggest factor right back. Especially if you play the micros which is, you know, so... has such a high rake. Rake back is everything. In fact, uh, to be completely honest, in the uh, time of a short stacking, I think in the end I broke even short stacking before rake back. But I did make a decent penny with rake back. A very decent penny, since I did. Very sweet deal. So I think we chipped up recently a little bit. I'm gonna call this. Not sure it might not be the smartest thing. Let's check it out. I think I have access to the matrix once more. Yeah. But I mean, we do have some nutted outs. It's not like it's completely horrible to call here. That being said, we wouldn't be happy if somebody puts more money in behind us. Let's see, MP versus cutoff. We have ace-jack 3-3. I have a feeling the matrix is going to tell me to fold. Yep, so it does. Just the ace-king would be a call. Single suited. For shits and giggles, let's check it out. Double suited. In the same spot. The same story. All just cards. Interesting. The ace 10 would be a raised fold, but I guess that's like for balancing reasons. Probably because it doesn't make sense that the ace king queen and with the threes double suited would be uh, just calls and the ace 10 would be a raise fold, so has to be that. Some range balancing going on there by the solvers. Yeah, rakeback is the, the biggest factor. Ooh, I'm just noticing I have the micro-gaming tables uh, offset here to the side a little bit. Let me arrange those a little bit more neatly. Right, that's better. So all in all, still a very nice day. I can, if you're interested, I'll show you the graph on micro gaming for today. I'll happily show you the graph for the months because I've been running hard. Let's see, can I maybe can I zoom in on this? 
yeah, that's today's graph. Certainly running over EV, EV, yeah, massively so. Oh, but actually in Pilot 10, I'm, I'm doing quite uh, fine uh, regarding EV. Let's check it for this month where I just ran hard. So 671 euros this month at micro gaming, and I didn't play many hands, like 2,600 hands. Got a bit lucky. Plus some rake back there, like another 90 euros of rake back, so 750, something like that. <laughs> you used to be a supernova on stars. Hey, fellow supernova, was that was exciting back then, man. That was the dream. I'm sure you sit that sat down and did the math, like how much would I get if I make supernova, how much would I get if I make twi supernova twice, how much volume do I have to put in? That was insanely uh, motivating. I think it's a little bit tough for me to answer. Hang on, huge splash here. Unfortunately, this is not the hand I can do anything about it with. I'm still gonna go for the limp here if I can, because at Pilo 20 that seems to work. Um, right, so... Here's the thing, I don't have a really good answer for that. Uh, the sh my short-sticking days I played on sites where I was able to track. And as I said, I broke even pre rake back there. But since then, uh, I only started playing 100BB and deeper poker uh, two weeks ago. Not poker, but Pilo. Two months ago, sorry. It's late. And most of that on run at once, so I don't can't import the hands yet. They haven't unlocked that feature. But I think the first month I had like 10 BB per 100, something around that. Possibly even more, like 14. Um, I would say 10, 12 BB is possible. Like 10 BB is possible in the micros. Ooh, what am I doing? I'm not raising here. PLO 50, I don't know yet. I keep hearing good things about the PLO 50 uh, pool on Run and Run specifically. I have no idea about other sides. Hello, nuts. Here I get raised, certainly, and I can call that with. Fortunately, I don't get a dream flop there on table one. Uh, table two, sorry. Well, but he's really short. I didn't notice that. It probably wouldn't have made a difference. But for that, you know, euro more I have to call, and I actually got more than the price for that. Sorry, wrong table. Ugh. I see. I mean, I, almost, I very likely have to current nuts. If I don't, then I can never draw out people. So now I'm just gonna call it. I could have certainly could have bombed the flop, but I prefer not to. It's, I think. So things are happening here. Perhaps unwisely I chose to bet the flop. Then again, it's heads up. It's not a horrible board. That being said, I need to let it go. Here I'm going to just call. Hope he doesn't have A8. Nice. And here I do have the open ender. ender and It's kind of iffy. But if like a 6 come, it rolls off, I'm probably in very decent shape. Now I'm done with the hand at this point. Well, that being said, he is... It's really short. Okay, I have... Actually, I was... Good until that point. No, yet too bare. Tell a lie. This is unfortunate. A very decent hand I had here. Huge splash up here. This time I do have a hand. Maybe could have come over the top. Maybe not. Just 
Just gonna check it. We are good here. That is nice. Need to let this one go. Aliva! Thanks a lot for the follow! You guys are certainly making my night. I didn't expect to get anything here. Didn't even wasn't even a, hang on, what's happening here? Just had the wrap. Okay, unfortunately he left would have been a person I would have loved to play more hands with there. Right, so potting it here. I shouldn't be behind all that often. I would say. Six times supernova in 2016. Respect, wow. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. He can't be split it up. 30, 35k rakeback, Jesus. Very nice, congratulations, man. That is a thing. Came too late for the supernova grind, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're at uh, six times supernova, then. You know, that's certainly within reach, I would say. Let's just check it here. Unfortunately, took it down. So I do turn something here. It was a small race, like to 120 or something in the, in the splash part. Smallish race. Ugh. We blocked the lower straight. Every once in a while we're good. We might be. There's somebody else to 7 8. The King 9, possibly. Could be in there. Cool. Take it down. Jesus, man, that is quite an achievement. Very impressive. That's what I was planning on doing, getting like six times, uh, getting like whatever, uh, how many times uh, Supernova. And it probably could have, would have worked, you know, speaking about my limit hold'em days. But then, of course, uh, Black Friday happened, that very year I, I went pro. And that was pretty much it for the full ring uh, limit games, like right away, overnight, those disappeared. Not quite, they were around for a while, but not for much longer, half a year, a year. 